In today's video, we will learn about Chaos Scatter in Chaos Vantage. Starting from version 2, we will be able to create and set up Chaos Scatter in the Vantage file itself. Now, let's learn how to use Chaos Scatter in Vantage. But before we scatter objects, we will need to repair two materials, surface and the seeds. Regarding the terrain, you will need to model it and create a basic material in 3 months. The second one is the seed. You can prepare seeds right from the beginning in 3 smart file if you know which seed you need. Additionally, you can also use the 3D model in Cast Cost mode to import into your file. After the reparation is complete, you will export it to VRSync file. Then we will open the file in Cast Vantage. First, we will need some basic lighting modification in Vantage and then move on to clustering. To create chaos cutter, you can either click on the icon in the tool map or the icon in the object tab. In chaos cutter, there will be six tabs. The first one is common setting tab. There are two scattering modes, 2D and 3D. 2D allows us to scattering objects on a surface such as trees, house, or people. The second mode is 3D, which allows us to scatter objects inside the object bounding box. In this video, I will focus on the 2D mode. To select the surface to scatter on, this on distribute on target objects. An instant model object will manage the seed you want to blend. To adjust the tree density, Navigate to the Surface Scattering tab. The Instant Count will determine the exact number of instant to scatter. If you want denser forest, increase this number. Now, to prevent the blends from growing into the house or a specific part of the pond, click on the last tab area. Here, you can choose to include or exclude areas for your forest and adjust the phone up level. However, this feature is not as user friendly as Chaos Scatter in V-Ray or Corona. After understanding the basic of Chaos Scatter, let's move back to Common Setting tab. We have more. First one, Mass Instant, which limits the maximum number of instant. Uh, this option does not determine how many instant are real, but it will help to prevent crash in your viewport. Random Sys which change the random distribution of the seed. If you check the avoid collision box, the trees will not collide with its order. This parameter is quite useful when scattering people, buildings or portals on the table with objects that you do not want to collide. In the surface scattering tab, we will have means and mass slope angles. To demonstrate the path, we will scatter objects on a sloping surface. Follow the same step as before. Min and smart lapse angle define a range of angle for scattering, filtering out instant outside of this range. And now, if your tree are tilted, go to the rotate tab and adjust normal alignment. This value ranges from minus one to one. And now, I will change it to one to try the tree. If this is a negative value, this will align instant to the vertical down. And with the tree tab. Translation, rotation, and scale. You can make adjustment to your forest to create a more random look. So you see, with Chaos Cutter 2, you can directly create Chaos Cutter advantage. However, this feature is still relatively basic and has several limitations related to using Chaos Cutter in Fury or other software like i Forest. Hopefully, in the near future, this feature will see more robust development. So that's all for today's video. Thank you and see you in the next video.